hi everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back if it's your first time here thank you so much for stopping by do show me your love by hitting the red subscribe button below and the little bell next to it so that you're the first one to find out each and every time that i drop a new video <laughs> And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know the vibes. You are loved and appreciated over here. Thank you so much for coming back. guys welcome 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 to a weekend vlog welcome to a weekend vlog guys super super excited for this weekend because we'll be celebrating botswana's independence day if you've been um a subscriber on this channel long enough or if you are a new subscriber and you've taken time to watch um, my previous videos you'll realize that on the 30th of september every year i do something to celebrate independence day and i always say i'm not the most patriotic person but i love to celebrate botswana because you know, that's the country I was born in. You know, that's the country that raised me. That's the country that made that has made me who I am today. Like literally 85% of my life. Actually, 90% of my life is still back home in Botswana. My whole family is there. My, um, okay, most of my friends also relocated abroad. But some of my friends are still there. But my life is there basically, you know. So I love to appreciate Botswana. I love to... Um, celebrate independence day also reminds me of a lot of my childhood memories like if you grew up in botswana you know independence day was quite a big deal growing up so i just love to enjoy the day and get into the festivities of the day so usually what i do is i will cook home food um i'll cook food from home obviously not traditional food because where are you gonna find traditional food in poland right but just like normal food that we eat at home like seven colors if you know you know if you don't know you'll see tomorrow what i mean okay yes um so what's happening today uh yesterday my friend and i went to the mall to pick up some stuff that we're gonna need for the celebration tomorrow so um last year i celebrated with two of my friends who are also from botswana we had fun so much that i said this year let's just make it an event you know let's make it a thing let's bring a lot of people from botswana even southern africans anyone can just join us to celebrate um because the community of Botswana living in Poland is slowly increasing. I noticed that. And I was like, let's just do this thing where we get together, have fun. You know, like we don't have to be friends. You know, <laughs> let's just like, have fun together and, you know, just celebrate the country. You know, be around people who, if I say Mboditani, block seven, they know exactly where I mean. You know, if I refer to a joke from Botswana, they know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, just one day we get together, become kids again, play our childhood games eat good vibes you know that's the plan for tomorrow just good vibes good vibes good vibes yeah um so yeah that's the plan for tomorrow basically and then sunday probably gonna go to church we'll see we'll see how um the weekend progresses but i'm definitely excited about tomorrow uh i just hope the vibes are as great as i imagine them also music my friend and i made a playlist of just throwback music that we used to listen to back home i think that's gonna be super super fun looking forward to it definitely looking forward to it and i'm also happy that we actually have a lot of people who have confirmed attendance who are not from botswana which i also love you know i think it would be nice to just teach them our games play with them and yeah 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 so yeah guys that's what's up that's what's up for the weekend um right now i'm just doing wig lines because you guys know the hair situation it's not that cute so i feel like wig lines will just save me i'll just wear a wig for the whole weekend until i decide what to do with my hair next what next to do so yeah guys i uh, just wanted to open the vlog i guess we will catch up tomorrow morning when i start cooking and preparing and yes everybody um brings something that they're gonna cook um i decided that i'm going to make samp because i still have samp that i brought from botswana um i also have beetroot and chakalaka i'm also gonna make chakalaka from scratch and yeah that's what's up guys super super excited so yeah let's catch up tomorrow yeah <music> Do a 
what's right Sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti I seek to cure what's deep inside Frightened of this thing that I've become guys welcome to a, an early morning in my life happy you guys i really wake up early i woke up at half past six and for me that's early i know to someone else it's not that early but for me that's super early so i might be a bit all over the place but yeah happy independence if you're watching from botswana happy so i hope you by the time you, you guys see this vlog it will be monday right so you'd have already celebrated bipuso so i'm gonna speak in past tense okay so happy bipuso i hope you had fun i hope you stayed safe and stayed alive and you didn't get too crazy didn't get, get too crazy now anyway um you guys know that i do struggle a lot with time management so i'm trying to find solutions for this you know i don't think it's cute to be always late oh yeah i'm always late no it's not cute it's really not cute Especially on a day like today, like, I've been so excited about this whole thing. And then imagine I arrive late and I have the stuff that we need to set up over there. I'll show you guys in a few. Oh, the weather looks a bit cloudy now, but I check and it's going to get sunny as the day progresses. Um, so, yeah. Uh, happy Independence. Um, watch the rest of this vlog to see what we get up to. Okay. Right now, I just want to put on music. Just get myself in the you know in the mood the festivities mood we created a playlist so we just have a lot of throwbacks like music that we used to listen to when we were kids back home love that for us kesana so yeah right now um yeah i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that we bought and then i'll get on with the cooking guys sorry for the angle oh and i did my stick ons i don't know how i feel about them after they're done but hey anyway what's in this box so I was supposed to make khamera. Khamera is ginger beer, right? Traditional ginger beer. I was supposed to make it. I found a whole recipe on YouTube, right? But it says the mixture that I was supposed to make has to sit for three days. Three days. So today is Saturday and it wouldn't have had time to wouldn't have had time to mix and actually make. So I just went online, right? And I searched ginger beer. So I went on Allegro. And I found this old Jamaican ginger beer. I think it's gonna taste just like stony. If you're from if you're from Southern Africa, you know stony the drink. So I think this is stony basically. And of course, it's not traditional Khmer, but at the end of the day, it's still um, ginger beer, right? It's still something that we drink at home. So yeah, ordered that egg in a bag. So yeah, there's um, a blue marker there's these spray paints that we're gonna use to just maybe like spray paint our t-shirts we don't need the green to be honest we just need the blue and the black you guys know the national colors of Botswana are blue black and white guys as this video goes i hope you guys also learn some stuff about Botswana because i do get a lot of questions actually let me make that the aim of this video all the questions you've ever had about Botswana will be answered in this video, especially for my Polish audience because I get more questions from them than from Southern Africans. Because countries in Southern Africa are a bit similar, to be honest. For example, if you live in, um, let's say, Mafikeng, South Africa, you have a glimpse of what life in Botswana is like. You know, it's almost the same. It's almost very, very similar. Or if you live in Livingston, Zambia, you have a glimpse of what life in maybe Kasani, Botswana would be like, you know, where very, the countries are very close to each other, neighboring countries. So, yeah, but yes, perfect. We're going to use this chance to educate. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, the national colors of Botswana are blue, black and white. Okay. So blue stands for water, rainfall. Rain is a very important thing to us because the country is a semi-desert. So, Rain is so important, so much that the currency of the country is called Pula. And Pula means rain. 
rain is also in terms of agriculture agriculture is one of the things that keep the economy going so rain is very 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 important the black stands for us black people white like black and white people living in harmony in Botswana so very peaceful country that's why you rarely hear it in the news making headlines um like yeah of course um, I'm not going to pretend and say it's still as peaceful as it was 20 years ago. But compared to other African countries, it is still one of the most peaceful, peaceful, peaceful countries in Africa. Moving on. Yeah, that's the national colors, right? That's why we bought blue and black. And then white is going to be the color of the t-shirt. For example, if my t-shirt is already white, I don't need to buy white paint, right? <laughs> These balloons, of course, color, theme. Um, uh, forks, <laughs> paper towels, um, this wall, this blue wall, we're going to use to play a game called wool. Okay, wool, wool. Yes, so you guys have seen us play this game on the channel once when my friends and I went to Krakow, but we are going to play this game again. You're going to see how we play it with wool. This is a game that everyone just plays when they're kids. Like, if you grew up in Botswana and Havasenka Wulu while you were growing up, then something must be wrong. And then these straws, theme, theme guys, blue white. <laughs> and some cups and um, plates. The expectation is there's gonna be 20 people, but I think it's always good to be on the safe side. So we bought 50 cups, 50 servings, and we might need to get more plates because the plates are just 20. The plates are just 20. So yeah guys uh that's it there's not much in the bag let's go to the kitchen and start guys so over here i have some samp that i soaked overnight the reason for soaking it is so that it doesn't take a long time to cook right so this is samp and beans i'm going to start boiling it in a couple of minutes in a few minutes i'm just gonna wash out this water and then i'm going to put fresh water and boil it Yes, I'll show you guys once it starts getting ready. Oh, guys, also forgot to show you. I got this um, 0, 0.0 mocktail GNT only because of the colors. Wait, clear, clear lighting. Yeah, literally only because of the blue and white. <laughs> but I hope it actually tastes nice, despite their beautiful color. Guys, the time is 9 a.m. now, and I'm just gonna have this donuts to just put in some sugar, some energy. Sugar gives you energy, right? Just some energy in my body. It's still cloudy outside, but the fact that it's not raining, honestly, like as it can be as cloudy as it wants, it could be minus 10 degrees for all I care. But as long as it's not raining, we are still going on with today. Um, and I think cloudy weather is actually perfect because if we're going to be jumping and playing games like you don't want it to be too hot and sunny and sweaty and hmm, you know, so yeah Whew. So excited I think that I hope everyone is just as hyped as I am like do you know how much it sucks? <laughs> when you're so so excited for something and then everyone else is just like mellow about it So I hope everyone's vibes match my vibes or everyone's vibes are just on the same level you know the same vibrations if you know you know anyway the samp is actually almost ready which is great the next thing i'm going to make is chakalaka to be honest is more of a south african delicacy but it's something we also make and eat in botswana to be honest at home i don't make it from scratch like <laughs> I just buy the ready-made one in a can but obviously where am i gonna find chakalaka in poland that's ready-made in a can so i'm gonna make it from scratch not that difficult to be honest i have actually made chakalaka on this channel before i'll link the video in a little card over here
so guys i did a quick little taste test and the scent is pretty much ready but the beans still need a few more minutes so i'm gonna pour a little bit more water and cover it and let it boil some more so i have decided to add some spices that's why the color looks a bit different at first i was gonna make it plain but i added some spices i added some curry and then once the water dries up a bit i'm going to put some butter i think i don't know <laughs> i don't know guys i literally cook this once a year <laughs> but i hope it turns out right it smells very nice because i added this curry let me add more just for for tastes guys as mentioned i'll be making chakalaka these are the pre-cut veggies that i stored in my fridge perfect guys perfect i'm so glad i didn't start chopping in the morning because i would have run even more late than i was anyway i heat up my pan poured my olive oil and then of course yes guys it's a hack heat up your pan before putting the oil on it okay try it anyway <laughs> I then threw in my peppers. Okay, maybe my pan was a bit too hot. But you know what? It's okay. I'll lower the heat in a bit. Anyway, guys, at this point, I trust and believe that you pressed the little card that I added in the previous clip with a detailed how to make chakalaka step by step. So for now, I'm just going to put on some music. So you guys are going to listen to music and watch me cook. Okay? I'm so glad I actually put in an effort to wake up early today because wow, it's already quarter to 11. This thing is supposed to start at 12 and I live about 40 minutes away from the park where we are hosting it. 4-0, not 14, 40. So yeah, even though I actually woke up early, I still foresee myself arriving a few minutes late, but at least I tried A for effort. So right now I'm gonna quickly take a shower, get ready, show you guys what I'm wearing and I still need to iron the dress to iron the dress i should have done that last night but it's i'm ready to go but i have to rush out i check my tram and if i take a tram i'm going to arrive at 11 40 i mean 12 40 guys like 12 40 and i can't do that so i just have to uber <laughs> like i said it's quite far so it's gonna break bank but it's okay i have no choice i tried guys maybe being late is just my brand but okay let me uber at least with uber i'll get there at quarter past 12 that's not too late so yeah let me and I attempted to do my makeup. Guys, at this point, we were still waiting for a lot of people to arrive. So we just decided to play Wulu. You guys saw the little piece of wool that I showed you earlier at home. So yeah, <laughs> the aim is to fly over the wall without touching it. Oh, faster than me. 
tari cheri le majita bari bi tari kam together tari tari cheri le majita khweli feli ri batla chete khweli feli ri batla a e finally hi hi What's your name? Nero. What's your random fact about Botswana? Botswana is a landlocked country. Yeah. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Nadia. What's a random fact about Botswana? Um, beautiful women. Danko. Kind people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi. What's a random fact about Botswana? Um. Oh. So, what's your name? Madla. What's a random fact about Botswana? Botswana is the Second country after Russia with its diamond mining. Yay! Hi, what's your name? Maybe. What's a random fact about Botswana? It's the southern part of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> your name? My name is Rache. What's a random fact about Botswana? We are known for like we have beef, so if you want to eat good beef, go to our country. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hi. What's your name? Butu. What's a random fact about Botswana? Um, it's very hot. And they have the best beef. Yes. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Chipen. Tell me a random fact about Botswana. You guys have the largest population of elephants. Boom. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Sewalo. What's a random fact about Botswana? Peaceful. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Bill. What's a random fact about Botswana? We have the largest number of high quality diamonds worldwide. Okay. Oh. What's your name? My name is Philip. What's a random fact about Botswana? Random fact? Um, that's they gave the best girls ever. Period. 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 Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Welcome to Wipusa 2023. Uh, thank you for coming to celebrate with us so guys let's eat let's have fun but mostly let's eat i guess yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. sad day, sad day. Sad day. Sad day. Sad day. Guys, we have played, we have eaten, we have taken pictures, and now we have changed into our dancing clothes, okay? And we are about to dance. <laughs> Something on you. Oh, you're 
coming for you. Yeah, Lord. Oh. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, what a fun time. But you guys know it's not hot girl summer anymore, so it got dark quite quickly and we had to leave. But overall, it was so fun and I was so, so, so content and happy. Hi, guys, happy Sunday. Guys, look at my eyes. It's 1 p.m. and I just woke up. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy because my friend dropped me off at home at like around 3 something, three at almost 4 a.m., 3 something. And <clears throat> in my head, I'm like, okay, let me take a shower now. I literally took a long shower, a long hot shower at 3 a.m., past 3, because I was like, no, let me shower now so that when I wake up at 9 to prepare for church, I won't have to do too much. This is me waking up at 1 p.m., and my friend just sent me a message. She's like, Honey, well, I'm just walking out of church now. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I just opened my eyes. Like now, literally, guys, I just opened my eyes. And in my head, I was like, no, the time is around probably nine something. Usually, if I wake up at nine, I can make it to church by 11 because I live quite far from the church. But if I wake up at 10, I just know I, it's over. And I hate being late for church. I know I'm a very tidy person, but when it comes to church, I hate being late. And I was telling this to my friend last time because we went to church together and we were so late. And I was like, when I arrive late, yes, I hear the message, right? But it doesn't meet me the way it meets me when I go early, you know? And I told her, I think my love language with the church is arriving early or on time. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, enough about that. Quick recap about yesterday. Yesterday was so successful. It was so fun. To be honest, at the beginning... It was a bit slow Yo, at the beginning i was okay not stressed out i wouldn't say i was stressed out now i'd be lying if i say i was stressed out but just the fact that um people were late and um our two girls who came all the way from krakow and katavice they were waiting and everybody else was just like and i was like yo guys i know we are always late but can't we do better like people from other cities are even earlier than us who live in front of but yeah anyway um my friends eventually arrived the vibe started picking up picking up picking up we ate we danced you guys saw mostly we danced we ate we played games and yeah we just tried to keep the vibes tops 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 yeah and our friends who are also not from botswana they were trying of course to mingle with us play games with us but yeah overall it was a 10 out of 10 event in my opinion it was very fun the vibes were tops and i'm hoping it can be an annual thing i'm really hoping it can be an annual thing and i wish we had started it this big years ago <laughs> but no it's fine this year was perfect hopefully next year it's something bigger and better more organized where did i get inspiration for this guys if you like communities, I always see like communities of people from Botswana who live in like the UK, Germany. They always have like big events on independence thing. Even yesterday, we were looking at Instagram stories from people in the UK and we're like, wow, guys, they even get artists from Botswana, like famous artists from Botswana to come and perform on the day. So I feel like we can actually do something like that in Poland. Like that's the aim. That's the plan. Um... There were some other people from Botswana yesterday who didn't show up, but hopefully next year, if we plan it and organize it properly, maybe they'll show up when they see that, oh, it's actually a real thing. But yeah, anyway, it was fun overall. It was fun overall. Um, that's it. Um, I think I'm going to close this vlog today, guys. I'm going to close this vlog today because it's Sunday. As you can see, I'm in my lazy girl mood. <laughs> I didn't think I was tired. That's why I was ambitiously saying I'll make it to church at 10. But clearly I was tired. Clearly I am tired. Now I feel tired. I'm not a baby anymore. Like my legs are showing me that I'm not a kid anymore. Right now I just need to tidy up this place. Because if I don't tidy it up now, 
then I'll just live in the mess and I don't want that. I, I don't like that for myself. Yes, I don't like cleaning, but I also hate being in a dirty, dirty place. So I'm going to quickly tidy up, put the laundry away. Um, My friend Florence might come over. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I get up to. Actually, guys, it's me again. And I'm just here to close off the vlog properly this time. And I'm also going to share something super exciting. So if you watch vlogs till the end, you're going to know what I'm about to share. But if you don't watch till the end, then you won't know. Anyway, before I close off the vlog, the exciting announcement is we are doing Vlogtober this year. Vlogtober very ambitious of me but we are doing it okay all in the name of consistency we are doing vlogtober this year what is vlogtober vlogtober is where i upload a vlog every single week day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday for the month of october <laughs> so there's two things vlogtober can do for a channel one it can help um increase traction increase the views because consistency 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 and two, it can demoralize me very much because if I upload a video every single day, how sure am I that you guys are actually going to watch a video every single day? <laughs> anyway, I hope it doesn't demotivate me. I hope it does well. But yeah, either way, we are doing Vlogtober this year. So this will be the first episode of Vlogtober dropping on the 2nd of October. Yeah, because today is the 1st of October and it's a Sunday. Tomorrow is the 2nd of October and it's a Monday and we are starting Vlogtober. Okay, so happy Vlogtober. Happy October, happy Vlogtober. <laughs> so I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow. Not next week, not on Thursday, tomorrow. Because there's going to be a vlog tomorrow or a video, a vlog or a video. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.